Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So on Sunday, I was watching Meet the Press and Chuck Todd was grilling the hell out of Donald Trump's representative. And her name is Kellyanne Conway, if I'm not mistaken. And basically what this woman was doing was trying to make excuses for the um, press secretary because this press secretary just made outright false statements. This man claimed that Donald Trump's inauguration was the most attended or had the largest crowd in history. And he made that ridiculous statement in response to criticism, in response to photographs that had been posted online comparing Obama's 2009 inauguration to Donald Trump's recent inauguration. They are side-by-side -side photographs of the two events, and they establish that far more people attended Obama's inauguration than Donald Trump's. You can look at the pictures, and I will post that picture as the thumbnail for this video when I get a chance. But here you have a press secretary making an outright false statement. And when asked about this, Donald Trump's representative, uh, Kellyanne, I think that's her name, Conway, she basically said that he was presenting alternative facts. <laughs> and everybody in social media has been making a mockery of that woman and of Donald Trump's administration because there is no such thing as alternative facts. There's facts and there's falsehood. It's just that simple. There's no gray area here. So if you can't trust these people to tell the truth about basic things that we can all observe and see with our eyes, then you can't believe anything these people have to say. If they're going to lie about little things like this, in the big scheme of things, it doesn't even matter how many people attended that inauguration. But the fact that they will lie about that, something that insignificant, it is easy for them to lie about things that actually matter. Things like war and peace. Things like foreign policy and domestic policy. And... The whole reason why they did their press conference is because Donald Trump is a sensitive, butthurt, thin-skinned little bitch, man. I mean, <laughs> that's the bottom line, man. And, um, you know, it's just a shame that we had this guy as our president, you know, somebody that's sensitive like this, somebody that's all into their emotions, I mean, what a colossal waste of time to hold your press conference, your very first press conference as the um, press secretary to talk about something as irrelevant as the crowd size. I mean, and then to lie about it. It's not a good look. And I think hopefully this is not a sign of what's to come. It probably is a sign of what's to come under Trump. But also, like, their open hostility towards the press is troubling. I mean, I wonder if Donald Trump will try to implement policies to suppress the press, to deny people their right to free press. So these are just some thoughts that came to my mind. You know, I'm glad that Chuck Todd stood his ground and he asked the tough questions. He didn't let that woman deflect. She wanted to talk about everything except for the issue. And he stayed on point, he stayed on focus, and we need more people like that. And as many people have said, it's a shame that the press has finally waited to after the fact, after this man got elected, to ask the hard and tough questions. The media made this guy. They kept talking about this guy. So he got to the heap, the top of the heap because of all this media attention. They constantly talked about him, constantly gave him attention. And 
the Clinton the Clinton campaign is partly to blame for Trump's victory because they helped legitimize this man. So this is where we are. Tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.